Historic Ann Arbor is the place to be for an incredible college football matchup here at Michigan Stadium. And now let's head down to the coin toss. Brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calorie. Enjoy everything. Turner is on the field to kick this one off, and everyone in the stadium is ready for this game to get started. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Hit as he threw, and he completes it. Oh boy, the defense was duped on that play. But to be honest, even if they knew it was coming, I'm not sure they would have been able to stop it. From their own 35-yard line, it's first down. And he's hit immediately. Fires complete over the middle. So they go to the air and pick up six. Well, he really didn't have to do too much there to give himself a little room to make the catch. Second down and five. Ball on the 41. They come out in a five-wide set. Big hit. He's going to lose yardage. They lose three yards there. They really just didn't have any room to work on that play. The defense just suffocated them there. From their own 38-yard line, third down, five wide. Gets it out, he's met immediately. Drop back four yards on that one. That play was sort of out of sync from the start, but you have to also recognize that the defense made a great play. They read it from the get-go. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. Wallace takes it at the 20, brought down at the 28-yard line. Michigan's a team and a program that year in, year out, has got 1,000-yard rushers. Sometimes they've got two, and they've got that huge offensive line, and, you know, you get too worried about them, and sometimes you can overlook the fact they can throw the ball. It's going to be tough today for this defense. I think they're going to have to take some chances and load this line of scrimmage. And, you know, as a play caller for this offense, when you have such a gifted running back, it opens up every aspect of the offense. I mean, the play-action pass with this running game, you get those linebackers and safeties coming up close to the line of scrimmage. It's a great time to really open up and, and show what you can do as a complete offense. It'll be a challenge. They come up to the line here. It's second down and 14 after the sack. He scrambles, and he's going to be sacked. How about the intensity of the pass rush? These hits take a toll on a quarterback, physically and psychologically. The blockers have got to do a better job of taking care of him. Defense hoping for another sack here on third and long. sacked again and he can't escape again well, if they keep putting pressure on him like this he might start to look to get rid of the ball quicker which could very possibly lead to turnovers after the sack it's now fourth and long Lucas the return man
Oh, excellent punt. Lucas fields it at the 46. He's tackled the 39-yard line. The Wolverines really took care of business on defense that first time out, Kirby. One of the great traditions of college football is this defense and the way they play with such passion and enthusiasm in this environment. We're seeing that again today. Every drive is important in a tie game. I look for both sides to come out with some urgency. And he's level at the 40-yard line. He just timed the snap count there and really made a nice play. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 40-yard line. Tackle around the 40-yard line. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Zips it to the tight end. He's taken down at the 34-yard line. Makes the catch, but just not enough for the first. Yeah, they're going to come up a little bit short here. Nice job by the defense of preventing this completion from turning into a first down. So it's fourth down. They'll line it up for a very long field goal attempt. It's up. Well, they leave three points on the field there. Still no score. And so far, it's been totally even. In close games like this, every possession is likely to matter. Scrambling around. And down he goes at the 36-yard line. McCarthy comes away with two yards on the scramble. It's second and eight. Ball on their own 36. Nice run there. Corum gets six yards on the play. That makes it 33. And he throws it away. Nothing clicking there. Let's see if they can make a few adjustments before their next series. Lucas back deep to return. You talk about our meetings this week with the defensive coordinator, Kirk, and this is what they were hoping for, that they can control a lot of scrimmage. Uh, these players must have been listening pretty intently because that's exactly what we've seen. These defenses have come out. They've controlled things early, trying to just set the tone. It's really going to be up to both of these offenses to try to make some adjustments and try to be able to come after them in some way. They've got to play with some focus and smarts here. They don't want to make a mistake and suddenly find themselves trailing. He's gobbled up in the backfield. They line up at the 13. Second down. They'll spread the field with five wide. He's tackled at the 14-yard line. So the quarterback keeper gets maybe a yard. That makes it so He is drilled at the 24. Evans is waiting for the snap. He gets out to about the 45-yard line. Well, this has really been stingy by both of these defenses. And the question is, can they keep this pace up? Though? I think that's a big challenge for them to be able to continue to play like this. Right now, the emotion of the game is favoring the two defenses. But I get a feeling it's a matter of time until one of these offenses starts clicking. I don't think either team has a clear advantage so far. Let's see if they can make some plays and get a little separation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
There's a strike complete, and he's down. Second and five coming up here. Ball on the 50-yard line. Up the middle for a nice game. Makes the catch and look out. And they push him out around the 39-yard line. It's second down, six yards to go. Ball on the 39-yard line. Fires out to his receiver. And they make the stop at about the 13. Man, that was an impressive-looking play. When you can slice apart a defense like that, it puts a seed of doubt in their minds. It's first and 10. Ball on the 13-yard line. Nice run, and he's brought down. Nice seven-yard gain on the quarterback draw. That'll make it second and four. He's scrambling. This is the kind of steady, strong drive the coaches love to see. Right now, they're firing on all cylinders. First down. First and goal. You're going to go play action inside the five. Here's the time to do it. They're crowding the line. Puts on a move. Touchdown. score by the halfback and a nice call by the coach there just give it to your main man anytime you're near the goal line he splits the uprights with the extra point it was a seven play 54 yard drive and it results in a touchdown brad i thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive i thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense so the score now seven nothing Turner has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Wolverines really came prepared to play defense today, and the plan is working. Well, so far in this game, you've got to tip your cap to the defensive coordinator. He has clearly done a very good job of getting his team ready to play, and they have done a nice job of slowing down this very explosive offense. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. You know, at that point, I think, Brad, the quarterback's just better off just taking a sack. You have to be very careful as you're feeling pressure to throw the ball just to throw the ball. If you feel like you're not going to be able to make a play and the defense got you, just give up on that play and get ready for the next down. And they get nice yardage on that run. That's a deep five on the That'll make it third and five. It's third down and five to go. Ball on the 30-yard line. And he tackles him hard at the 19-yard line. Fourth and long here after the sack. The defense has everybody on the line. I think they're going to come after this one. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. And he's taken down at the 45-yard line. The offense really came up with a nice drive there last time out, and most of those yards came through the air. This defense needs to improve from front to back. 
the line needs to put more pressure on the quarterback and the defensive backs need to stick it to these receivers with tighter coverage. This is a very well coached defense. They know to get their hands up in the air and to try to knock down passes. So it's second and 10. Ball on their own 45. Michigan is up seven. Pressured and brought down. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 45. That'll make it fourth down, and they're going to have to punt. On third down, the defense was expecting the pass, and they defended the play very well in the secondary. Lucas is back deep to return the punt. Tackle made at the 31-yard line. Michigan's looking awfully impressive right now in defense, but we are in the first quarter. Yeah, this is about a dominant first quarter that we have seen in a long time. But let's see if they can continue to play this well throughout the rest of the ball game. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Brought down at the 27-yard line. The D-line did a good job of nullifying out the blocks up front, and that allowed the linebacker to roam free and make the tackle in the backfield. From their own 27-yard line, it's second down. They come out on an empty backfield. He fights forward to about the 30. Deep to return. He's to the 40, and he makes it out to about the 41-yard line. The last time this offense had the ball, it was three and out. Michigan is up by a touchdown. And he's taken down at the 40. Folks, that's the end of quarter number one, and we got a pretty good ball game on our hands so far. 7-0, Michigan. And we welcome you back to the action here, just about set to start the second quarter. Gets it, he's in space. They'll bring him down at the 44-yard line. First and 10, ball on the 44. They knock it down, incomplete. This just shows you that you don't need to be sacking the quarterback to disrupt the passing game. Hands it off. And he's tackled after positive yardage. 
Third down now. They need to get it down to the 34. Here's the run right. He's got nowhere to go. Michigan up seven points. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. He gets hit out of bounds around the 45-yard line. And that play could have gone for six. Oh, boy, you're right. And all week long, this secondary did a lot of talking about how they were going to dominate these receivers. I think this is time that they step up and prove it on the field. Forget about talking trash. Let's see how they react after giving up that big play. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 45-yard line. And he's tackled around the 43-yard line. But you can really mess with an offense's game plan if you can take away their ability to run. He makes his way to about the 48. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Another game, and he's going to be wrestled down for a loss. He's going to try to cough and corner this one. And he's got to be happy with that punt, Kirk. Yeah, Brad, that was nice. And now they're looking at a long way to go to even think about a score. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Michigan is up a score. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. They line up at the 12. It's second down. And he's tackled right away. Sets up a screen. Tailback's got it. Tackle made around the 23-yard line. From their own 23-yard line, first down. Gets out to around the 32. The offensive line got a really good push there, allowing the back to pick up nine on the play. He's going to try and scramble, and they got him. You can't take sacks like that as a quarterback. You just can't. If you can't find a receiver, get out of the pocket and throw the ball away. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. Michigan is up seven. He heaves it deep. Grabs it, and he might go the distance. 
down the sideline. Touchdown, Wolverines. He makes the PAT. Turner has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. They were forced to punt the ball away the last time they had it. They'll be looking for a little more out of their offense on this possession. Tackle around the 33-yard line. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Run play, and he'll lose yards. That's a great play by the defense. There's nothing like a defense being able to slip off of a block, get into the backfield of the offense, and then make a play in the backfield to be able to create some momentum, possibly, for this defense. Down he goes, around the 42-yard line. That's the kind of rangy flanker every quarterback wants to be throwing to. He did well to make sure he had enough yardage to pick up the first down. From their own 42-yard line, it's first down. He's taken down at the 43-yard line. And they'll bring him down behind the line. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 48. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Quick throw. He's tackled right around the 48-yard line. throw out to the receiver incomplete well that was clearly a poor read on somebody's part and the bad news is there was no defender around if the pass was anywhere near him it could have gone for a big play from the 48 yard line second down now he pitches it looking for the corner he's at the 30 and he's tackled at the 19. That's another first down, Brad. And right now, you can just really feel and sense the rhythm that this offense is in. Their ability to pick up first downs, just pushing this defense further and further down, back deep into their own territory. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 19-yard line. Was complete and he stopped immediately. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Quick release. Oh, had it knocked down. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Perry, it's a handoff to the right. And they make the stop around the 12-yard line.
Kicks up. And it is good. Indiana to kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. He's to the 20. Brought down at the 28. The Wolverines offense normally predicated with the ground game, but today it's the passing game that's working for it's, it's been a big surprise, Brad. I mean, we all expected to see this star running back have a big game, but it's been nice to see the versatility of this offense and see this passing game step up. Steps out of bounds around the 32-yard line. That makes it second and six. Second and six coming up here. Ball on the 32-yard line. Nice run to the outside. He fights forward to about the 40. First and 10. Ball on the 40-yard line. There's a strike complete. He's down. About six yards on the play. You get six yards, and that makes picking up a first down very reasonable. Open man, quick strike, and he can't pull it in. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. The defender had his hands on it, but it's incomplete. I'm not sure the quarterback saw him when he was getting ready to pass because he stuck his paw right in the passing lane. Lucas, back deep to return. Both sides have made their way back out, and we're just about set to get going again. Dumps it complete over the middle. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. From their own 22-yard line. Second down. Fires that quickly incomplete. Here's the halfback on the screen. Knocked out of bounds at the 41-yard line. Getting him the ball in the passing game creates real havoc for the defense. There aren't many linebackers who can stay with him in coverage, that's for sure. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 41-yard line. Now he's scrambling, and he can't get away from the pressure. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Quick out to his receiver. And he's level at the 44. Indiana is going to have to use their second time out of the half. It's first and 10. Ball on the 44-yard line. He's looking for six. And he came down with it. What a catch. They 
looked awesome on that play. A well-thrown football and a great effort to get the ball into the end zone. And he tacks on the extra point. A six-play, 77-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. Brad, how about the guys up front? The offensive line giving the quarterback plenty of time to be able to read the defense and make the right throw. So our score, 14-10. He's to the 20. Tackle at the 27-yard line. Yeah, it's been kind of a nightmare for this offensive line. Good pass rush by these guys today. Even with all the pass protection issues, they still have the lead. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Michigan holds a four-point lead. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. Brought down at the 35-yard line. So it's second down and about two yards to go. The slant pattern good for about eight yards on the play. And he's taken down at the 42. Going long. Doesn't get there. Boy, Brad, this guy drops an interception. What's ironic about that from going to the meetings the other day is that this guy's been telling the coaches he wants to play some wide receiver. You wonder why you're not playing wide receiver? Because you can't catch the ball as a defensive back. Tosses across the middle to his tight end. He's at the 40. They'll bring him down at the 25-yard line. Pass complete and taken down immediately. Scrambling around. And he's tackled right around the 16-yard line. That's the end of the half, and believe it or not, folks, it's still anyone's ball game. The Wolverines lead it by four. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Defense has been in total control in the first half and you'd think maybe the offense's confidence was shaken. But if you want to look at the entire team picture, David, how big a deal is it for an offense to know, look, if we can just put together one, maybe two good scoring drives, our defense has got her back. Well, a lot of times when you know you have a defense, it's great, too, is you build your offense around it. And when I say that, why do I need to take chances? You know, if it's third and long, I don't mind throwing a five-yard pass, and if I break a tackle, I get a first down. I mean, don't put my defense that's dominant, that's great, in a bad position, and you can afford to be more conservative. You see it every single year. What do we always talk about here at ESPN? We talk about you, you defense wins championships, and that's how you win ball games. And you see it consistently unfold. So if I'm building an offense, let's just not put my great dominant defense in a bad position. David's ready to get back on that couch, get the remote, get all the games dialed up to watch what's going on around the country. It's time to get you back for your second half. Brad and Kirk, ready to roll. Welcome back to the action. Second half just about set to begin, and we got a tight game here. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. Michigan is up by four. Now he tries to buy some time. Decides to slide. Second and five. Ball on their own 30. They 
makes the catch, and he's got nowhere to go. Four-yard line. That brings us second and one. He's on the run, and he's going to come up with a sack. Loss of four on the play. That'll bring up third and six. Third down again. Michigan is up four. Fires to his receiver, first down. Tackle at the 28-yard line. They bring him down in the backfield. That's a loss of two yards on the play. That'll bring up second and 11. Here's the eighth play of the series. And he tackles him hard at the 21. They've been two for two on third downs in this drive, and they'll try to convert again here. Gets it out quickly. And that sets them up for the first and goal. First down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Everybody bunched up tight defensively. Touchdown, Wolverines. He just followed the push of the big guys up front and found some room for the score. Splits the uprights with the extra point. A 10-play, 76-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. An amazing drive for this offense. Outstanding execution. If you're the defense, you've got to do something to try to change things up to get this quarterback out of sync. He just drills this one. He's to the 20. And he's tackled at the 24. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Henderson gains around six yards on the draw play right there. That'll bring up second and three. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Yeah. 
He makes it to the 32-yard line. Carries the ball for a nice game. That's a game of five on the way. That makes it first and ten. First down, ten to go. Ball on their own 37. And a nice pick up there. I'll tell you what, the defense gambled a bit here and came with the blitz, and a quarterback showed tremendous poise by making a good read and delivered a nice ball to the open man. First and ten. Ball on the 42. Black five, black five. And that one's incomplete. That makes it second and ten. He's taken down around the 45-yard line. And once again, they'll come to the line, try to convert on third down. Five wide. Quick throw, and he's got his man again. And he hits him hard at the 29-yard line. That is money in the bank. Sometimes you just can't stop a good combination. This is the eighth play of this drive. Nice run there. Jackson gains around six yards on the option play right there. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Check, check. Dancer, dancer. Slings it. Inside the 10. A huge play, and now they're in a great position to score. First and goal. This is the tenth play of this drive. And they get nice yardage on that run. About four yards and a counter to the halfback. It's second and goal. Ball on the two. And they make the stop around the two-yard line. The quarterback tried to do a little too much by himself. Hey, maybe next time he'll get it out to the back so he can do something with it. This is the 12th play of this drive. Watch out for a pass play when you're in a goal line deep. Touchdown, Hoosiers. And a nice call by the coach there. Just give it to your main man anytime you're near the goal line. Trying to win the battle in the trenches, and the offense did that time. He makes the PAT. Evans has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Hoosiers have really surprised everybody in this football game. They have not been intimidated at all, which is great to see. The attitude and effort of this team has put them in a position where they got a shot to win this game here in the second half.
The last time out, they were able to pick up big chunks of yards through the air. You wonder if they'll go back to that same strategy or will they start to lean a little bit more on their ground game. From their own 23-yard line, second down. Michigan holds a four-point lead. And down he goes, right around the 20. Little screen pass. He's tackled at about the 21. Johnson on the tackle at the 21 yard line. Fourth down. The defense looks like they're going to send in the cavalry on this one. Oh, excellent punt. He gets out to about the 42 yard line. He showed a good burst there. The quarterback did a really good job in the last drive of finding his receivers in space, and I bet he'll be looking to do the same thing again. And they got him for a loss. It's second and 12. Ball on the 41. Here's an opening. That's a great tackle at the 49-yard line. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Gain of four yards. That makes it first and ten. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 45. He makes it to the 45-yard line. hit immediately. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 35. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Balls it in as he's pushed out of bounds. Looked like both sides tried to get away with some shoving while the ball was in the air. Here's the call. They'll line up for another third Still down third play down. because of the penalty. Well, here you're in a third down situation, and then someone makes a mental mistake. It makes your blood boil if you're a coach. Well, they've converted one third down play on this drive, but now they're faced with a third and long. So the stop there on third and long, and that's going to bring up a punting situation. On third down, the defense was expecting the pass. And they defended the play very well in the secondary. Wallace, back to return it. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. And for Carter, he's been a force for this defense. Well, he has tremendous quickness, and overall, I think he's just been a big headache for this offensive line the entire game. I think it has a lot to do with the way they're pressuring the quarterback. They're just doing a great job as a unit and not allowing this quarterback to get into any rhythm. This ball game could still go either way, but if the offense scores here, they're going to get the crowd more into it, and that would make it rough going. It's going to be interesting to see how the action shakes out in this series. Michigan is up by four. Set. Nice run, and he's brought down. That's a that makes it 76. 
from their own 24 yard line. It's second down. Brought down at the 27. So at the end of the third quarter, the Wolverines lead 21-17. Well, this final few minutes is going to determine this one. Tight ball game. Action set to start here in the fourth quarter. Now he's scrambling. They'll bring him down around the 35-yard line. It's first and 10. Ball on the 35. He's tackled at the 45-yard line. And he's tackled after positive yardage. That makes it seven and six. From their own 49-yard line, second down. He's taken down at the 49. Call it again two, two yards. yards. That'll, That'll bring, bring up third and four. Michigan is up four. Tackle made at the 43. The 43 yard line. First down. He makes his way out to about the 35. That makes it second and two. We're at play number nine of this current drive. He's scrambling. They bring the quarterback down. They line up for another third down, and they've had no problem converting their first two. time. Tackle at the 20-yard line. Here's the 12th play of the drive. Michigan holds a four-point lead. Throws it in a hurry, and he is drilled at the five-yard line. Thirteenth play of the drive coming up. Pitch out, got the corner. Touchdown, Michigan! A powerful push by the line and a really nice run. That'll get you into the end zone almost every time.
And he converts the extra point. Turner is lined up to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Their last drive ended in a punt, so this quarterback's going to be looking for something better on this drive. Nice catch, first down, and he's knocked out. That makes it first and ten. We've got a first and ten. Ball on their own 42. And they'll get him in the backfield. Well, give the defense all the credit here. They had that one snuffed out from the start. It could have been an even bigger loss. They come out in an empty backfield. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. That was just a case of one lineman dominating another and making the play. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 48. Once and all, going deep. Big yardage on the catch, and he's immediately pushed out of bounds. Now it's first and ten with the defense trying to regroup after giving up the big pass. They try running left. He's gobbled up in the backfield. Did you see how quickly he was able to get into the backfield and make that tackle? Not many guys that big can move that fast. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. One yard loss for the halfback. Third down again. They'll line up with five wide receivers. He fights forward to about the 26. The kick is up. And he nails the long field goal. Yeah, he got some good leg behind it, and he kicked an accurate ball right between the goalposts. 28-20, Michigan. Indiana gets set to kick this one away. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Wolverine staff has got to be ecstatic. Whether it's chess or checkers, they're playing out there today. They're winning. Well, this defensive staff trying to slow down this offense came in with a mindset of stopping the running game, first and foremost. And unfortunately for this defense, they've lost the battle out on the perimeter. And right now, they're giving up too many big plays through the air. Give to the running back, and he's going to lose yardage. That's a loss of two yards on the play. That'll bring up second and 12. From their own 23-yard line, second down. Michigan holds an eight-point advantage. There's a strike complete. He's taken down at about the 27-yard line. Tackle 
tackles him hard at the 21. That's a loss of six yards. That'll make it fourth and 14. Lucas back deep to return. Makes it to the 48 yard line. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Jackson on play action. From their own 48 yard line, it's second down. A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Pitches it. He's got the corner. And they make the stop at about the 49. And they've got the dime package in there to try and deal with this five receiver look. He's at the 40, short over the middle. And down he goes at about the 35. First down. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 35-yard line. He makes it to the 35-yard line. They come out in a five-wide set. And he throws it away. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. It's third and long, and at this stage of this game, they probably have to go to the air. Complete, brought down, nothing doing. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Got him in the screenplay. He's tackled around the 21-yard line. This is the eighth play of this drive. Under a minute left in the game. Makes it to the 11. Indiana is going to take their first time out of the half. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. He makes it to the 9. The defense doesn't seem to have an answer right now. They might need to change up some of their schemes. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Swings it out there incomplete. We've got second and goal. Ball on the nine. Five wide. Fires quickly. Touchdown. Late 
into the fourth quarter now, and with that score, this game's a one-possession ball game, and it's really going to get tense from here on out. Big, big conversion right here. Time is running out, and they need this one to tie it up. So the referee initially calls it a catch, but we'll get a second look at it here and determine if he was in bounds when he hauled it in. And that play happened so fast that it was very tough to tell if he was able to get a foot down or not. After review the play, the ruling on the field stands. The ruling on the field will stand. He caught it. The only thing left to say about this play is that was an excellent catch. And they won't get the two. An 11 play, 51 yard drive. And they get six points on the board after failing the two point conversion. And he's tackled at the 40. Here we are late in the fourth quarter, and this is what this game has come down to. Every possession's going to count, and this could be the one right here. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. From the 43-yard line, second down, under a minute left. Takes a knee. So this one goes final. A hard-fought close game. 28-26, Michigan. So that wraps things up for us. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit. I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you next time.